Now I just want to point out one type of race condition, the traditional file system based time of check time of use. It's been discussed quite a bit since the early 2000s, but it's specifically out of scope for this class. Not because it isn't a race condition, but because the mitigations and the behaviors and just the description of it doesn't sort of fit in with all the other types of bugs that we cover in this class and the previous class. So we're mostly interested in race conditions that can cause memory corruptions, reopen, heap overflows, stack overflows, those kind of things, and also cause the types of vulnerabilities you're about to learn about in the next sections, such as use after free and type confusion. So the type of race condition we cover in this class integrates well with all the other types of vulnerabilities, whereas the type of race condition dealing with file systems is very operating system and file system dependent. So the guidance that we would give you for that type of race condition wouldn't really have anything to do with the other types of race conditions we're seeing in this class. Nevertheless, just a quick show of what I'm talking about here if you weren't familiar with this kind of thing, if you've never seen it before. So traditionally, for instance, there's a system called Access, which is used to check whether you have access to a particular path, a particular file at a particular path. And if access is OK for read, for instance, then you go ahead and open that file with read permissions. So the race condition here is that you could have user space process one running. It runs path name of blah and access check. That calls up to the kernel. It's a system call after all. And the kernel says, yes, it's all good. But then a context switch occurs and an attacker running elsewhere on the system might do something like remove slash temp slash blah and then link it with an acid file and have that acid link be named slash temp slash blah. Then when the context switches back to the first process, it will open the path name, but it turns out that now it is operating on acid instead of the original temporary file that it expected. So that's sort of a file system time of check at access time and time of use at open time. In this particular case, you can see this isn't exactly the sort of double fetch vulnerability like we were talking about before, because in some sense the kernel, you know, just checks access permissions, which is not the same thing as opening and potentially reading from the file. So alternatively to that, instead the attacker might take Tash, slash temp slash blah and link it to slash etsy shadow which is a file they themselves may not have permission to open but then they've tricked this first process into opening it and operating on it and who knows maybe they somehow get the process to be tricked into changing a password or something like that so again this type of file system based race condition is not in scope for this class but it is potentially in scope for future ost2 vulnerability classes